The world of sports has recently introduced us to some of the most ambitious stadium structures we can envision. Joining the list is the new $1.9 billion Allegiant Stadium located in Las Vegas, Nevada, home to American football team the Raiders, as well as the UNLV Rebels. Today, we're taking a closer look inside to see what makes the Allegiant Stadium a sporting masterpiece. Back in 2017, when the Las Vegas Raiders announced they would be constructing a new stadium, not many people took notice. But in true Las Vegas fashion, the developers constructed an innovative tourist attraction that perfectly complements the city's enticement, all while providing a modern home for their NFL team that's unlike any other sports venue to date. The Allegiant Stadium draws its design inspiration from a futuristic concept car and is adorned in the Raiders' signature silver and black. This has led it to be appropriately nicknamed the Death Star by local residents due to its resemblance to the Empire Space Station from the Star Wars movie franchise. The Allegiant sits on 62 acres of land and the building itself has 10 levels with the capacity to hold 65,000 people. The whole stadium was designed so that fans could feel as if they were outside while sitting in the climate-controlled environment. But what does that mean exactly? Well, it all starts with a unique ETFE roofing system suspended by 100 steel cables. This lightweight structure creates a translucent roof which provides the atmosphere of an outdoor stadium while protecting fans from the harsh Mojave Desert heat and glaring sunlight. What better way to watch an outdoor football game than from inside an air-conditioned stadium, right? Adding to the indoor-outdoor experience are the massive lanai doors located at the north end of the stadium. When weather permits, the 80 by 215 foot doors slide open giving fans an unobstructed view of the Las Vegas Strip, one that can be seen from every seat. The Gameplay Screens the stadium itself is full of many technological innovations, but one you won't see is a suspended jumbotron. While this is a feature found in many other domed stadiums, the Allegiant doesn't have the structural roof support. Also, a giant video screen would obstruct the outdoor views for fans seated at the south end, interrupting the indoor-outdoor experience. Instead, the engineers created three large monitors at each corner the largest being a 254-foot wide by 49-foot tall jumbotron located at the south end. There's also a transparent mesh video board integrated into the side of the building, spanning almost the entire width of the stadium. This unique mesh screen allows outdoor spectators to watch projected gameplay while fans inside can simultaneously see out. Other major technological innovations are the 1700 Wi-Fi access points and optic cables allowing for enough bandwidth to power every device in the stadium's 1.8 million square foot vicinity. The Retractable Field Being located in the desert must mean the playing field has artificial turf, right? After all, grass isn't exactly a plant that's native to desert lands. Well, as stated earlier, the stadium is used by two teams, the NFL's Raiders and UNLV Rebels. The Rebels do prefer playing on turf, however, the Raiders would rather play on natural grass. So, how do the developers satisfy both teams? By making two fields. The Allegiant Stadium has yet another innovative feature unique to itself, a retractable field. Beneath the stadium lies a four-foot deep tray weighing 9,500 tons. On days when the Rebels use the stadium, the entire grass field is rolled outside on 13 train rails powered by 72 electric motors, allowing the surface to get natural sunshine and watering. Then, for Raiders home games, the natural field is rolled back inside, ready for game day. The field also includes its own irrigation and drainage collection system and a soil growth medium which all help to keep the 95,000 square foot surface in optimal condition. And if all those numbers make it hard to picture the sheer magnitude of this retractable field, just picture it this way. According to the Allegiant Stadium's website, the system used to move the field back and forth weighs roughly as much as the Eiffel Tower. The 3D-printed Al Davis Memorial Torch Ever since the passing of former team owner Al Davis in 2011, the Raiders start every game by lighting his memorial torch. 
The torch is lit in memory of Al Davis's lasting impact with the Raiders and has been lit by members of the NFL organization with a special connection to Davis, such as John Madden, who was hired by Davis in the late 1960s. The torch is dedicated to Davis's enduring vision that the fire that burns brightest in the Raiders organization is the will to win. Mark Davis, Al's son and the current owner, has updated the torch to a new 3D printed sculpture that stands 95 feet tall at the center of the stadium's expansive club and lounge space. The torch is the largest 3D printed object in the world and is now lit up with LED lights instead of a burning flame. Al Davis's vision is inscribed at the base of the piece, making the Raiders tradition even more spectacular. Raiders Heritage The Raiders' history and tradition are infused in the stadium's decor with the trademark silver and black color scheme tailored throughout, and the 50-foot corridor to the locker room area is no exception. The corridor has been transformed into a Raiders Hall of Fame, with artwork celebrating the nostalgia of the franchise from Los Angeles and Oakland, as well as tributes to the team's new home. The artwork is all created by local Las Vegas artists and even includes portraits painted by former quarterback Todd Marinovich. Marinovich is an active member in the Las Vegas art community, and the artwork in the Hall of Fame corridor is another element of the community outreach built into the stadium's heritage. Inclusivity was a key component of the project, with about 23% of the work awarded to small businesses and 62% of the workforce being female or from minority communities. The local group has even planted 425 trees around the building to offset the environmental impact created from its massive construction project. Legacy Brick Program The stadium isn't all technological innovation and design. As with most sports organizations, the front office wants to build a relationship with the fans that will keep them coming back for generations to come. For that reason, Allegiant fans are able to buy a silver brick through the Raiders Foundation Legacy Brick Program, which is then installed at the main entrance. And if you don't want to go searching in the hot sun for your signature brick, you can order a replica to be delivered to your home. Each brick can be inscribed with a dedication, a quote, or even just a hello to your favorite player, with costs starting at $850. All the proceeds go to the Raiders Foundation, which is the charitable arm of the franchise. The foundation is committed to increasing community and civic health through military support, youth development, and growing the game of football, and works within the community of Las Vegas. This is just one element that makes this luxurious stadium more than just a beautiful building, but one that's sentimental to fans and team members alike. The ingenious building has already been a huge asset to the thriving Las Vegas entertainment scene, and as the development starts to host other non-sports related events, the Allegiant Stadium will certainly become one of Las Vegas' flagship landmarks. What was your favorite part of the stadium? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to Most Extreme and turn on notifications for more innovative content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.